so bad, but I do be the real deal here. Don't know if I said that right. Well, guess what? It's Sunday, midday, maybe a little more in the afternoon. Went to a wedding yesterday, and I didn't get as shit-faced as I did last time. Was no throw-up, but I did have a small, small hangover, which kind of sucked. But anyways, okay, today's vlog on Motor Vlogs, I'm going to be reviewing my Ranchero. It's my second car I've ever owned, and I still have it. And I'm going to do it a little differently because... I've been seeing a lot of stuff on YouTube and Netflix and stuff. Like Netflix, they have uh, cars, coffee, and comedians, like an interview with them. It's, and then I, there's guys on YouTube who drink coffee while going, while going to see cars or people at their shops and stuff. So I'm going to drink coffee and interview my ranchero. But it's going to be a little bit different because I don't feel like making it. And uh, this is not sponsored by Monster. See? Not sponsored. Because... I'm not famous enough. Good old Loco Moco. So here it is, guys. My 1979 Ford Ranchero 500. I am the second owner of this car, you know? And honestly, it is a... It's a, you know, it's a project, you know, it's, it's not a show car by any means, but it has some pretty nice patina on there, like right here, you know, I mean, it's a, I think it's a beautiful freaking car, just saying, and one of the coolest things about this, I think, look at that, this is like cat prints on the hood, you know, it's like the cat jumped from over here, jumped on, played around, and jumped off. And somehow it rusted to show it. Pretty dope. Pretty dope if you ask me. And uh, this original motor in this car has a 302 original motor. It had like 88,000 original miles when I bought it. And I just did little tune-ups to it here and there. And right now it's tracking at 91,000 miles on it. Because I drive this sucker a good number of times. Probably the most... The longest trip I've driven this car to is Ennis, Texas, which is about an hour and 45 minutes away from here. So, y'all, it does run good. And I have some twisted 72 spokes on here. They're 14s, and I got 175, 70, 14s on here. And um, I bought them both used, by the way. You know, I'm a broke ass, broke ass dude. But Halloween theme, no big deal. Also, this car, my hometown, Jacksonville, Texas, this car was originally on Bill McRae's Ford lot back in 1979. It is in a Jacksonville car. It's been here its whole life. So if I ever do sell this thing, I would like it to go to someone who is actually in Jacksonville. The wind is fucking annoying. But, you know, quick little break from the car. Got Marco back here in the background. I am gonna enjoy my little coffee break once again. Damn, that's not sponsored by Monster. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, hopefully the wind will stop being so annoying. But, you know, we're still reviewing the Ranchero here. And the reason why I want to show you my car right now, and, you know, I mean, it's not a show car. Like I said, it's a project. But I plan on doing work on it pretty soon, like pretty, really quick. I want to do, like, get the most of the interior done, get different wheels and uh, get hydraulics and then uh, make sure the motor's perfect clean nice looking and the last step will be paint and before i do all that i want y'all to see how the ranchero was before i started working on it and um some more clips of it here and there no big deal i don't know how long this video is going to be but it won't be too long and um it's one probably one of the cars i love the most out of my collection because it's been here so long and I've had it and I've driven it about every other car show and I really do have an emotional connection to this car personally. But with that being said, we are going to show the interior. I was going to show you the motor, but not just yet. We got my Mr. Clown friend in there. He's chilling. Interior here. I got some tour seats, so I just put this blanket down. Yeah, it looks cool. YOLO. Here's the dash here. Got my rosary. Some of this here and there. 
blah, blah, wah, wah. Okay, we're gonna show the motor now. Okay, guys, here it is. 302, original motor, 5 and it is dirty. And one thing I do plan on doing also when I start fixing on it is to clean it up, make sure it looks nice and professional looking where people like, where I can go to a car show and raise my hood up, you know? To me, that's a pretty good feeling. My dad does it all the time, and I am jealous of him for that matter of fact. You know, um, coffee's getting a little boring, and uh, I'm gonna switch it to uh, good old Miller Lite. Coffee and beer in a car review, you know what I mean? All right, Marco. Hell yeah. Uh oh, look like the phone's coming up. Okay, it's not, but um. Okay, I wanna talk about a little story about this Ranchero. Marco kind of reminded me of it, and uh, I love this car to death, but for a while, I didn't drive it because it got me in big-time trouble. <laughs> okay, one day, I cleaned it up for work, and um, I was kind of like, I was kind of like, you know, I want to drive it to work, and I work in Palestine, and I live in Jacksonville, so it's a good 40-minute drive, so I drove it to work, had a good day at work, and I was driving back home. It was like two o'clock in the morning, and for some reason, I was speeding. <laughs> I was going 90 miles an hour in like a 55, and turns out my license plate light wasn't on, so they pulled me over for both of that. And uh, then he started looking around, notice my tag, my antique plates are out for a whole year. This happened like, I don't know what, four months ago, five months ago, and it was out in 20, uh, 2018, so it's been out for a while. Then he asked for the insurance, and I didn't have insurance on this car either. So I ended up having like a $600, $700 ticket. I was broke. I just got back from work because my leg was injured, or that might have been before. I don't know. Whenever it was, whenever it was, I didn't have enough money to pay the ticket off, so I kind of just forgot about it. Then I got a letter in the mail. There was a warrant out for my arrest, and... I need to pay this fucking ticket. So I'll end up having to scramble up the money. It's like $700, $800 just to pay this ticket off so I can be scot-free again. So this car kind of fucked me over, but it was my fault. I mean, I'm not going to blame the car 100%, but I should have been on my shit. So y'all make sure that. Get your insurance. Get your antique plates, tags. Get whatever you need so you can drive your old school. Because you don't want to be in my situation where you're struggling. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap this project review up on my car. 79 Ford Ranchero 500. Don't forget it. If you want to go on my Instagram, it's doobie underscore the underscore real underscore deal underscore through hill. It is long, but I'm going to put it right there under. <sighs> Excuse the burp. But last thing I want to talk about this car, this probably be the next step I do to this ride, is the seats kind of just make... They move. The latches out here are too rusted out underneath the seat. And uh, I have to get all new metal work done underneath my seat so we can bolt it down right. And I ordered the carpet, brand new navy blue carpet for this car. I just need the seats underneath redone. And there's only one place I trust to go. Vincent Design, ah, blah, blah. fucked up. Vincent Designs, Chinto, he does badass fabrication work. He airbagged my dad's 1950. So I'm gonna get him to do that pretty soon. And when I do, I'm going to go visit his shop and do a video about it. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, Horsepower Hangover. And I really hope you enjoy this motor vlog today of my Ranchero. It is a beautiful car, without a doubt. It's definitely a look at car shows. And uh, I'll catch y'all later, homeboys and homegirls. Y'all make sure y'all stay safe and get your insurance and tags. If you're into cars, trucks, or anything with a motor in it, don't forget to check out my channel, Horsepower Hangover. Fuckers, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Shake that ass, bitch. Show me what you got. Shake that ass, bitch. Show me what you got.